guys. Welcome back. My name is Rosalind from Rosalind's Journey. Guys, in front of you, you see my Cricut machine there, and I want to make a Cricut stand. I went on Amazon. I went to Timu to see the prices, and I really don't want to pay uh, $30 for a stand that I can actually make myself. What I decided to do was find some scrap wood, some uh, some screws. We use my Craftsman um, nail gun, which is here. Um, <clears throat> or you guys can use screws. And the uh, Cricut machine is seven by 23 or seven by 22.7. I'm gonna make my stand a little bit taller because when it's inside, I want it to be able to open like this. Um, even if I choose not to move it, I want it to still be able to open. And then I want to stack my other one on top of it. So guys, if you would like to see how this is done, you definitely gotta have to stay tuned for this one. And at this point, I would appreciate it if you give me a like. Guys, it really helps out my channel and um, it makes me produce more videos that you guys like. And if you definitely hit that like button, I'll know if you like this or you don't. Guys, you have to come back because I have so many things going on um, and I would love, love, love to have you here. So without further ado, I'm going to get down on the floor to put this thing together because I can't do it on top of my desk um, and if I'm having a problem on the floor doing it then I'm just going to have to do it off camera and then bring it back to you but let me just point out some of the things you're going to need um, this is a piece of scrap wood I mean it's not even scrap wood it's a cabinet door um, that I purchased from Ikea we're going to use this we're going to use these um, uh, pieces of I think this it's not a two by four I'm not sure um but it's not a two by four it's in the two by four family I don't have the measurements in front of me let me just see it's not a two by four it's a one by I, I believe this is how it's measuring a one by 14 inch uh, piece of wood and I'm not going to use the whole wood I'm just going to use about here so I'm going to use about 12 inches of it so I'm going to start my project out like right here I'm going to put the wood up against here and you guys will see that and I'm going to um, just uh, use my nail gun to um, you know attach it together if not if I don't feel that the nail glue is going to work I mean the nail kit is going to work the nail gun is going to work I'm going to use the screws so let's get started with that. So that's that's about all you need, guys. I'm using four of these. And I don't know if these were purchased at Dollar Tree or I went to... If it wasn't purchased at Dollar Tree, I don't think it was purchased at Dollar Tree. I think it was purchased at Home Depot. Um, I bought a long one and just had them cut it down to sizes. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, you can go buy the long one. They, they won't cut it down unless you buy in a certain amount of wood so i bought the long one had them cut it down in pieces um i use that in another project and um yeah so let's get started guys i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here i'm going to put each one of these on the side like here here and then two over there and then put my wood i believe it's going to be facing this way I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that one out once I get it down on the floor. But yeah, so guys, you're gonna have to come along with me. And again, I, like I said, I'm going to put up here, so I'm gonna have this much left of wood showing. And I think once I paint it up and everything, you guys are not even gonna notice that because I'm definitely gonna paint it, paint these uh, sticks white when I finish putting it together. So let's let's just let's just go on and and do that, and then we'll discuss the painting and everything afterwards. Again, I'm gonna use this nail gun today for this project here.
guys, to make this project a little bit easier for me, what I did was I pre-holed, um, pre-drilled some holes um, to make it easier for me. So I'm going to take my, um, and I used the smallest bit I had. Um, I don't know the size of it, but yeah, I used the smallest one I had just to make that hole to get me started. Because it's so much easier once you have a pre-drilled hole. So I'm going to switch my bit now to this one. And put it in there. I'm just going to start it in. Now this is the way I do it. it. It's so many easy ways to do it, but I find this the easiest for me. So I'm gonna go with that. Just take your time. No rush to put to make that, you know, finish off that hole. Because you don't want to strip it. I don't, I don't know the, um, the length of these screws because I took took it out of the pack. But um, you see it's not the smallest, it's not the medium. So I don't know. It, it goes by 3.6 or something like that. It should, it don't even have it around here. Um, I thought it would have it around there, but it don't. But yeah, I'm just using what I have, guys. And when I'm doing a project, I like to give you guys the measurements, but... Again, I took it out of the pack, so I don't recall the measurements. And once we have down, let's do this side here. For some reason, I'm, I'm not, it, it does, it's not looking even to me from here, but when I stand it up, I'll see that. And if it's not, then I'm just gonna have to take it out let me do that now. Just move it over just a bit. And hopefully that'll work. It's a little bit uneven. But guys, I'm sorry for this angle. I'm trying to give you guys the best angle there is for me right now. I thought this would make it a little bit much easier for you guys to see it. So I'm just going to stick that one in this pre-drill hole to the back. Because like I said, this is a, a stand for my Cricut. I just don't want to buy a stand right now. in the wood so I have to remove that and clean it up a little bit. That I don't want to do. As you can see it's so far I should have put it right in the middle. So I'm gonna have to drill another hole. Okay guys so as you can see I went and tried to uh, put the holes. I, I pre-drilled these holes in the middle. It was too far um, to the end and it was cracking that plastic on the end. So, hopefully this will work and this one will be done until we paint it. And this not, might not be everybody thing and I get it, but like I said, I just didn't want to buy another, uh, I just didn't want to spend that money on that machine, especially when you look at it. It looks like you could make it out of any piece of wood that you have in your house. And paint it up or put uh, contact paper on it and, and, you know, and there you have it so that's where I'm going with this one here so either I'm going to paint it or put contact I haven't decided yet that one is better it's in the middle okay much better 
just like that. I might have to go on the other side and remove that and make two more holes because I think that other one more toward the end also. Just take your time. That's better. I'm going to stand it up and see. It has just a little lean. But I am definitely okay with that one. And I'm going to remove this one and do this one over because as you can see um, the nails is literally let me see if you can see that yeah protruding so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to do it more in the middle and I'll bring you guys back well look at here guys we have us a stand and it's definitely going to work for me okay guys I brought you back because I finished um, putting the legs on and this is what we have and I also went ahead and put some contact paper down on one leg so I can show you um, how it's going to look with the contact paper. So there you have it. I'm going to put my machines on top right now and show you um, my idea. So there you have it, my two machines, side by side, one at the bottom. And then there's one on top right here. And I will be sitting this on a dresser by itself. That way it don't have to be moved. I don't have to worry about it. But here you go, guys. This is my uh, stand for my Cricut machines. And guys, um, it is a little bit uneasy on one side. So I had to build it up. I will be covering that. And I will make it look like it's part of um, the leg. I will definitely put some contact paper on it. Um, this side here is a little bit uneven, un, um, as you can see. So I'm going to put some of these coasters on each side just to make it look like, you know, that's the way it was supposed to be made. But again, it's on my dresser and it's going to serve my purpose. I can use both of my machines at the same time with no problem and that's what we wanted right that's what we wanted to use both of our machines and there you have it so i'm going to finish off the stand i'm going to put the contact paper all over it and then i'll bring you guys back to see okay that. guys welcome back and here's the finished product and as you can see both of my machines are sitting on um my creation the top and the bottom underneath there which is cool um i don't think i'm going to buy the cricket scan stand i just wanted to see if i can make something similar to it and that i did so i will keep this um and keep using this for as long as possible um i can move it out um you know as needed so guys you tell me what you think and, and if and if you would make something similar to this you know just just put it in the um, description box Cause right now, I think this is cool.